Sava. Welcome to eSleep Yangong channel. Today, I'm here to introduce you to Sentang Street, your next night life hub in Yangon. In Sentang Street, there's experiences for both young adults and older people that may like nightlife. So they are just usual bars, restaurants, cafes, fashion stores, and even just street vendors that may catch your attention. Come, follow me. normal street style bars and restaurants, Sentel Street also offers a lot of Burmese traditional food places such as these shan noodle shops and just other traditional Burmese foods. And just right across we see the corner bar, so let's go and check it out. decided to come and have a sit at the corner bar. So the corner bar is known for their drinks and foods and their acoustic that comes in place every Wednesday, Friday and Saturday. So in terms of their decoration, they have a lot of rock influenced, um, Mexican influenced as you can see and also Burmese traditionally influenced decorations in their store. And in addition to their drinks and food, they've also got this mini fashion store that sells a lot of plates and a lot of vintage style clothing. And with their drinks, they've got specialized cocktails as well that people come here for to enjoy. Just like my usual casual night outs, I ordered this beer, this Heineken beer and this water, fried watercress, which is a really popular tapas food that a lot of locals enjoy with their drinks. And I've got it made with some chili and lime to fit my taste. really popular for its diversity and international cuisines and services that are in cafes and restaurants. Just like this one, we've got the Japanese sushi and food shop. Sometimes I don't really feel like having drinks at night. So I like to have some bubble tea or some juice, whatever I feel like. And for those nights, Suntown Street offers these bubble tea shops or just normal Thai tea shops that are more for non-alcoholic <laughs> But my squad and I like to have a quick small meal for dinner before going for our funsies. And for that, we like to go to either like hot pot places or have some fried chicken at KFC or just rice and some kind of curry at these local cafes.
As you can see, there are a lot of street food vendors around here selling like barbecue, Burmese traditional snacks like you know, the noodle soups, or just normal just street style food. If you're looking for just a traditional nightlife restaurant, then there are also these restaurants where they, they can serve lots of specialty beer and just normal meals. You may have seen that Sunshine Street offers so much. So you might be a little intimidated, but don't worry because to my attention, this Windstar restaurant is the most popular around here among both locals and international visitors that come to this street. So you can always join the fun in there with your friends or just colleagues. And in Burmese nightlife culture, they've got this the streaming of football events in, within the shop with large screens so you can always watch that just for fun or just have a good time. I mean, are we really talking about having good options for dinner if it doesn't include Mala Shanko? I mean, it's Yangon street life, right? So here on Sun Town Street, we've got a bunch of mala chango, um, just Chinese street food like Chinese barbecue, hot pot, steamboat, and those kind of options for you if you are wanting something more filling. And we're gonna go check out one of them, so let's go. <laughs> Guys, I am so excited for this food. Oh my god, I was craving this for days. But this is Mala Shangko, as you can know. And it's one of, I would say it's the most popular um, street food these days among young people like me. It's actually very versatile to build your own bowl. So around here, there are a lot of Mala Shangko, different Mala Shangko shops. In some, Mala Shangko, you can pick your own ingredients and they have it weighed in grams and you actually just pay for the things that you pick for. Then you pick the level of spice, the level of numbness, and also some, it can be enjoyed with some sides like white rice or some noodles. But um, like what we ordered today, however, it's more of like a set portion where they actually constructed their own combination for you so that you pay one price and you get a little bit of everything and it's better for everyone. Mala Shanko usually is just shared among friends or just your table mates and today I decided to share with my friends so I got a big bowl. And the price of this Mala Shanko that I paid for was 5000 which can be converted easily into like around 3 US dollars. How cheap is that, right? I'm gonna try some now. Did you like this video? Did I inspire you to come to Sentown Street and enjoy nightlife once you ever visit Nyangon? Or even once you're used to going to downtown places for nightlife, you can always come here, you know, and enjoy your time doing new experiences. Um, if you like this video on our channel, then you might like our other videos that feature a lot of Yangon's attractions, like this one or like this one. And 
Thank you so much for enjoying this video. I'm your host, Tara.